How's it going? Today I have a really fun video because this is a collab with my friend Olivia here on YouTube. Her channel is Liv Loves Her Makeup and she is so cute, you guys. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, you need to go subscribe to her, watch her video. Both will be linked down below. She's just one of those people that you watch her videos and you just feel happy. Like Even when she is doing reviews on products that she doesn't like, she's still really like upbeat and happy and she's just so much fun to watch. She's one of those people that I want to watch her when I'm having a bad day because it just helps you feel better, you know? So she is wonderful. Go check her out. Like I said, you guys will fall in love. I know you will. And if you're coming over from Olivia's channel, then welcome. We're so glad to have you here. I hope that you guys subscribe and stay a little while. What me and Olivia decided to do is we want to talk about our favorite high-end products at the moment. Not really holy grails necessarily, just things we're loving right now that are high end. So I've got some really fun things in front of me. Some of them are actually my holy grail favorites, but I just had to mention them. So we'll get started. I think I'm just going to go kind of like randomly because I just have a pile of stuff. So let's get started. Let's start off with a couple of products that I really did not like when I very first tried them. I think the reason they didn't work for me is because my skin was super oily and I've kind of been going through this weird change where my skin is more on the dry side now. So I tried these two together and they work so well together if you have like normal or maybe a little bit dry skin. So it is the Hourglass Primer and the Cogendo Foundation. When I first tried these, the Hourglass one just, I don't know what it was. It wouldn't work. It didn't look good on my skin. I don't know if I was using the wrong foundations with it. I don't know. The Cogendo Foundation, I didn't feel like it had very much coverage. I do have problematic skin, acne prone. So I just felt like the Cogendo Foundation wasn't worth the price. And also because I had oily skin, it did make me overly oily by the end of the day. But now that my skin is a little bit more dry, these two together work so well. I just love them. The foundation is by no means full coverage. It's like a light medium coverage. I just really like the finish and the way that it wears on my skin now that it's dry. So these two together have been wonderful. I love them so much. I've been wearing them almost every day. For really beautiful shimmery lid shades, I have been loving the Natasha Denona palette. I have the green brown one and I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. I have a whole video showing you guys this and swatching it, explaining everything that I think about it. I really love it. I'm wearing this beautiful, really, really intense metallic shimmer shade on my eyelids today and I do have like a get ready with me on this look I'm wearing today that will be up in the next couple days. So if you guys are interested in that, then stick around. I just think this palette is so gorgeous. If you guys really like intense shimmery eyelid colors, then you are going to love, 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 love the Natasha Denona shadows. There are a few mattes in here that are okay. I don't think they're anything amazing or wonderful, but the shimmery and metallic shades are really, really awesome, like show-stopping eyeshadows. So I love this palette. It's beautiful. You can also buy them just a single one, which would be a great way to do it if you only like a few colors or they have five pan palettes as well. But they're just, they're just stunning. I love them. Next, let's talk about a couple skincare items since we're just jumping everywhere. The Sunday Riley oils are definitely holy grails for me. They are such fantastic oils. And for me, like I said, I have problematic acne prone skin. These have been the only moisturizers and treatments that I have been able to use without breaking my skin out. I know everyone is different, but for me, these have been the best thing that I have ever found for skincare because I just, I break out so bad when I try anything else. So I have loved these. Currently, my favorites are Luna, which is my favorite favorite of all of them, and Flora, which is meant for people with oily, no, no, meant for people with dry skin. And so since my skin has been dry, I've been putting this on at night. I've also been putting it on in the morning before I put on my foundation and it's helped me so much combat that dryness. The Luna oil I put on at night and it's just, it really makes your skin look amazing the next day. It feels nice and plump. It's just great. They do have these in Sephora. You can go ask for a sample. They'll give you a sample. You can try them that way. The other skincare item that I have is the Peter Thomas Roth Irish More Mud Mask. This is another one that I, I don't think I can live without this, you guys. This is like a pure, pure black mask. Like it's so black and intense. And what I like to do with this is when I have like those blemishes that are kind of like sitting under your skin or when you start to feel them coming on, I just take a little bit and dab it on there and then I leave it for like 30 minutes and wash it off. That really helps the blemish, the infection kind of like come to the surface so that you can get rid of it and it doesn't just like sit under your skin and fester for a week and hurt and bother you. 
So this just really pulls all the gunk out. I have mentioned this before on my channel, but I want to mention it again because one thing that I really love about this mask is when I use masks, like when I use the Glam Glow Tingle, whatever it's, Tingle Exfoliate one, what happens is I put it on, it feels amazing, but then my skin breaks out because that mask is really bringing all of the problems that are like sitting under my skin, it really brings them out and so then I look crazy, you know crazy blemishes everywhere. This one, if I use it all over my entire face, it doesn't make me break out in the places that I can't already tell that I'm breaking out. So I love that about this one because I'm not scared to use it. I can either do spot treatments or I can just put it all over my face and that will kind of help dry out my skin a little bit when I'm feeling like I'm a little bit too oily. So. A powder that I use almost every day to set my foundation is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting powder in the shade Dim Light. This gives you such a beautiful glow to your skin and it adds a little bit of light and radiance without looking overly glowy, but it also makes it so that you don't look flat matte. So this is beautiful. I am about an NC 20, sometimes 25, and Dim Light works perfect to set my foundation if you guys are darker or lighter. It may not work to set your foundation, but they have other shades that you could use. I have a couple of blushes I want to talk about. The first two I'm just going to go over super quick because I've talked about them before. The first one are the new Lorac Buildable Blushes. These are amazing. That's all you need to know. They're beautiful. They're worth every penny. They have a really good color selection and they're mostly on the soft side. They're no really crazy intense colors, but these wear beautifully. They're super soft. They're amazing. These are definitely worth it. And then next for blushes, I have the Becca blushes. These are beautiful. These are my two favorites. This one is Damselfly, which is kind of like a peachy neutral blush. And then this one is Flower Child, which is more pinky peach, and it has a really nice sheen to it. Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blushes. These are so great. The Becca ones don't feel quite as soft to the touch as the Lorac ones, but again, they wear really, really well on the cheeks, and the colors are so beautiful. Last for blushes, I want to talk about the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. This one is in the shade Baby Love. This is what I have on my cheeks today. It's just a really nice, neutral, kind of light, peachy blush. They have a really nice shade range of these. This one is my current favorite, but I do love all the shades in there. There's one called Your Love is King, which is a really nice, deep berry color that gives you like the perfect like flush if you want more color on your cheeks than just kind of like a neutral blush but they're all beautiful. Since my skin has decided it wants to be dry lately, I've really been loving using facial mist. So the two I've been using a crazy, crazy amount. The first one is the Smashbox Primer Water and the other one is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. These two, I have been in love with. I use them both the same way. I use it to spray on my face after I'm finished with my makeup just to kind of, you know, take down any powderiness that I have and kind of like meld everything together. And then I also really like to use them just throughout the day to kind of rehydrate my face and kind of give it a little bit more life if it's feeling a little bit dry. So I like different things about both of them. The Smashbox water, I really like because it's not scented. So if you guys are sensitive to smell, then this is a great one because it's not going to bother you. Also, the nozzle on this is amazing. It gives a really nice, fine, even mist that doesn't, you know, you don't get little water droplets, little splotches. It's just really even. It's perfect. The Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist, I love this. The smell is amazing. It smells very citrusy. I think it smells like grapefruits. I've heard people say it smells orangey. To me, it smells like grapefruits. I love it. It smells like the soda squirt. Did you guys ever drink the soda squirt? That's what it smells like. I really love it. And this one also does help set my makeup. If I just spray this on when I'm finished with all my makeup, it really does help it stay in place and last all day when I feel like this one just helps rehydrate. It's not actually a setting spray. This one does help my makeup set and stay longer. The only downside about this one is the nozzle is complete crap. It's so bad. So you spray it and you do get like over here you get a fine mist, over here you get little droplets. It's just really uneven and not good. I have sprayed the full size one in Sephora. It's the same way. I did purchase the full size. I think what I'm going to have to do is like use up the whole thing of this and then pour it into this or find another empty setting spray bottle to pour it into because this nozzle is no good. So it's a real bummer they have cute packaging. The product inside is amazing, but the nozzle needs help. You guys know I don't usually buy high-end mascaras because there's so many good mascaras in the drugstore, especially I feel like L'Oreal mascaras are really fantastic, but I got this little Stila mascara in one of the holiday sets, and I love it. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is a really, really great mascara. It reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but that one flaked like crazy on me. So this is a really nice alternative if you like the Better Than Sex mascara, if you like what it does for your lashes, but you've had a problem with that flaking. This one is 
I feel like it's very similar. The wand is very similar. It's not quite as hourglass shaped. It's not as like pinched in the middle. But other than that, the wand is very, very similar. The formula I feel like is really pretty dang close to the same. For a highlight, I've really been loving this Dose of Colors one. This is the baked highlighter in the shade Pearl Dust. They have a gold one and a pink one. This is the more pink one and it just looks beautiful. Let me swatch it on my hand and see if you guys can see it. It's just so frosty and intense. I just swatched like all over my hand. I'm not sure you can see it. You'll see in the close-up though. It is so beautiful and so pretty. This one is great. It lasts really well on the cheeks and it just it just gives you a really nice pop if you want an intense highlight. Like I said, it is that pink tone, so I like it because I feel like I gravitate towards the gold highlighters, and the pink one for me is a little bit different, so it's been really fun to use a highlighter that's a little bit different and not what I go to every day. Lastly, we have lips, and lately I've just really been liking really easy lips. No liquid lipsticks or, you know, like really intense colors. I've just wanted to kind of like take it easy with the lips. Just take a break from the liquid lipsticks and just do something easy. So a few things that have been really easy just to throw on my lips and they look really polished and nice. The first one is the Buxom Lip Glosses. This one is in the shade Sophie. I got the little set at Christmas time where you got a whole bunch of shades and I have really been loving it. They're all right back there in that little container. They're just beautiful. None of them are crazy pigmented. They all are just kind of sheer and nice, which allows you to just have a slight amount of color on your lips and a lot of glossiness. They also have that mintiness and a little bit of tingle to them, which I really love, but if you are sensitive to smells or you don't like the tingly, then just know that it's there. It's nothing intense. It's very, very slight. It doesn't sting or hurt or anything like that. It's just very subtle and just like a very slight plumping effect. There's a swatch of it, just such a pretty color to just throw on, or you could throw this on top of a lipstick if you just wanna add a little bit of gloss. It just looks great. The other lipstick that I've been loving is this Urban Decay Sheer Revolution Lipstick in the shade Sheer Obsessed. I got this in the 21 Days of Ulta sale, and this is a color I would not normally buy. It's like a cool toned baby pink, and it was all they had left when I went to the store, so that's why I got it. So it's very sheer. This is what it looks like built up. And then if I just do one swatch, that's what it looks like. It is a, a beautiful color to just put on your lips. And like I said, you can do like a super, super sheer layer or you can really build it up so you get a little bit more color. But I have been so surprised how much I love this. I really wish that I would have bought more during the sale because these are really great. So if there's a color that you like, this is another one that I just like to throw in my bag. You can just like put it on. You don't need a mirror. You don't need anything. It's just great. Very last for lips, I have really been liking this Cary Grand Lip Whip. This is in the shade or scent Peppermint. This is just a really nice, uh, like a thick kind of balm that you can put on either during the day if your lips feel like they need some moisture or I like to wear it at night. I was using the Bite Beauty one, but I took a break and I feel like this one, I like this a lot better. Just something about the way that this works with my body chemistry and my lips, it just works perfectly, makes them very soft and moisturized. Those are all of the high-end products that I've really been enjoying lately. Don't forget to go watch Olivia's video like I said, I promise you will love her. And if you're here from Olivia's channel, then don't forget to subscribe and stay a while. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.